Yo, what's up fam? Three Grill Travi back here with another one. In this episode, we're going to be smoking a pork butt using the snake method on the Weber Kettle Grill. And since we're not starting our smoke until tomorrow morning, well, there's a couple things I like to get knocked out of the way before we get started. One, I like to get the snake set up in the Weber already. Other thing is, I like to go ahead and season my pork butt. So let's head inside and get it seasoned up. And if you're not sure how to set up the snake, check out my other video that explains exactly how to get that snake set up in that Weber Kettle Grill. You know, a lot of y'all are wondering, yo, Travi, why are you, uh, why are you smoking a pork butt on a Weber kettle if you got that gorgeous Black Betty offset smoker? Well, short answer is... Now, before we get into all the seasoning and stuff, uh, I would personally like to take a moment to thank Kroger for this pork shoulder whole bone in 9.56 pound pork butt. Wow, that's a lot of pork butt. Now I ain't gonna trim this butt at all because people pay to make their butts bigger. So why would I make it any smaller? Now, I am gonna rub this butt because who doesn't like rubbing a butt? Now let me tell you about my secret sauce here. Well, it's more of a dry rub, but uh, anyways, it's two cups black pepper, half a cup of Lowry seasoned salt, and then half a cup of kosher salt. That's it, folks. I ain't gonna put any binders on this thing either. I'm just gonna go right on. You know, I kinda got a feeling this thing's gonna be the butt of all the jokes here today, but let's go ahead and just start applying our rub. We're gonna be very generous with this thing. We are gonna put this thing fat side up in the kettle simply because I'm using the Vortex mod. That's gonna be shielding that heat on the side so all the heat's gonna be forced up and over the pork butt. I want the fat there to shield that heat so we don't dry out, folks. Daddy, will you take that But of course. So I'm just gonna put some foil over the top of this and throw it in the fridge overnight So it'll be ready to go in the morning. Don't All right, we're wrapped up and ready to go in the fridge Stick with me fam. Anybody can do this. You're gonna impress your fam and then their fam and their and all, all the other fans All right fam good morning. It's 3 a.m. Got the water getting ready to get heated up in there Let's get this baby lit up Hell yeah, brother. All right, fam, so we're about 225 on the kettle. So uh, I'm gonna get this butt thrown on there and then we're gonna close the damper, it's about 50%. And then this 3GT about to go back to that BED. surprised that we maintained a consistent temperature between 225 and 250 the whole time I was sleeping. So this thing's been on for about four hours now. Eh, I'll probably give it another hour before I take my first look. But I know we're right here because I can feel that hot spot. That means we're right on schedule to get this baby done. So whenever you're trying to get into that desired range of heat, you want to make small adjustments with your dampers. 
very small. I'd say one eighth of an adjustment at a time. Give it about 30 minutes to see what happens. And then just go from there. Open more on top and bottom for more heat. Close to reduce heat. Pretty simple. All right, fam, I think it's time to wrap this puppy. Let's take a look. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, you see the split? Yep. It's time, baby. It's time. All right, fam, we're wrapped up, jacked up, and ready to render some fat. Let's throw the buck back on the Weber. Hey, fam, here we are. Four bus rendering at 200 degrees, man. Talk about done, man. Some people say 195, some people say 203. I say here at 3GT, let's, let's go with 200. Let's take this baby off, go inside, man, and let it rest. You know what I'm talking about? We were coming up right at the end of that snake. I did add some more coal just in case, but my goodness, we're not even gonna need that. So I'm gonna separate that, save that coal. All right, fam, we rested for a little bit. I can touch this thing with my bare hands now. So that tells me that this thing's ready to pull. So let's, let's take a look here, folks. Let me just open up and, and take a look at this. Look at that. Oh, yes. Yeah delicious good way of knowing way of knowing does that bone come out does that look like a bone to you looks like a bone to me looks like a bone to me all right let's pull this baby oh oh yeah baby get in there look at that so beautiful that's how we do it that's how we do it on 3gt well, love, 3GT barbecue. All right, fam, let's get a taste. Dang, gummy! Hold on, I gotta take this. There's warranty. We got you several notices in the mail that you have yet to extend your warranty past the factory uh, Come on, man. And 